President Donald Trump has reversed decades of U.S. policy and recognized Jerusalem as the capital of Israel in defiance of warnings the gesture risks creating further unrest in the Middle East. Israel hailed the decision, but the Palestinians condemned the move and said it diminished Washington's role as a peace mediator. Past U.S. presidents have insisted that the status of Jerusalem, home to sites holy to the Jewish, Muslim and Christian religions, must be decided in negotiations between the two sides. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said in a pre-recorded video message that Trump's decision had made for a historic day and was an important step towards peace. He added that any peace deal with the Palestinians would have to include Jerusalem as Israel's capital and he urged other countries to follow the U.S. lead by also moving their embassies to the city. He said there would be no change to access to Jerusalem's holy sites. Israel will always ensure freedom of worship for Jews, Christians, and Muslims alike. But Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas said Trump's move was tantamount to the United States abdicating its role as a peace mediator and declared Jerusalem as the eternal capital of the state of Palestine. Israel captured Arab East Jerusalem in the 1967 Middle East War. It later annexed it, declaring the whole of the city as its capital, a move not recognized internationally. Palestinians want East Jerusalem as the capital of their future state which they want to establish in the Israeli-occupied West Bank and the Gaza Strip. With this announcement, the American administration has chosen to violate all international and bilateral agreements and resolutions and it has chosen to violate international consensus, Abbas said. The move, he said, would serve the extremist groups which try to turn the conflict in our region into a religious war that will drag the region into international conflicts and endless wars. Israeli-Palestinian peace talks have been frozen since 2014, although Trump's advisor and son-in-law, Jared Kushner is leading Trump's efforts to restart them but those efforts have so far shown little progress. Israel's West Bank settlement building has been one of the main obstacles in talks. Trump said his move is not intended to tip the scale in favor of Israel and that any deal involving the future of Jerusalem would have to be negotiated by the parties. Copyright Raw 2017